a custom update 30 hertz, but it can be whatever uh, hertz you want it to be. So first of all, you want to grab out your maker pen, go to create, or open your palette, doesn't really matter. Go to circuits v2, search chips, events, event receiver. Once you've spawned in one of these, you want to use configure and turn on update 30 hertz. This is what's going to start your system up in the first place. Now, um, I, one of the biggest uses for uh, custom hertz is a 60 hertz system because all chips actually run on 60 hertz, but you're really locked to 30 hertz. But it runs on 60 hertz, so if there's any lag, it still runs nice and, nice and smooth. Um, at least I believe that's why. Um, so for a 60 hertz system, you want to grab out a delay chip and spawn it in. After that, you want to wire into the run. Now, I'm just going to spawn in a second delay chip, but if you wire this, if you wire the run and the after delay into whatever you want, then that'll run at 60 hertz. And I guess you can keep running this over and over, but it doesn't really make a difference um, since you're capped at 60 hertz. Um, but, I mean, whatever you want to do. Now, if you want to make a, let's say, 1 hertz system that that runs once every second, you want to grab a variable boolean, you want to grab an add chip, a greater than chip, which I believe is in the logic, greater or equal, yeah, yep, then you want an, um, you want to go into control flow, if expression, and that should be it, yeah, so you wire this into there, wire this into there, put in 29, and then wire this result into there, no, you you want to wire the output of the variable integer into there, and then type 29. And then the output of the add chip into the else. Make sure you have one typed in here. And now, after that, uh, this should, if you grab an if chip and wire it right here, And then the output of that. Um, I'm just going to grab an SFX V2. Configure. Grab the ding sound. Now, in comparison to what that would sound like normally, it would sound like this. So as you can see, there's a pretty big difference. Now, if I do want to make this run every two seconds, I can turn this timer to 59 instead. As you can see, it runs every, every two seconds. So that's just the premise for it. You can even, I can make one that runs 24 hours, basically, if I grab this, and I grab variables int, I'm also going to grab a delay so this runs better. Now you need three of every chip, uh, but this is easily repeatable for the same output. Um, logic greater or equal, and then. That should be it until I get the if chip. So now, if I wire this run into here, actually I'm going to do that after. I wire this into there, wire this into the else, 
or the greater or equal into the if, which I'm just going to move these so they're easier to differentiate for each chip. Now, since I'm running this at 60 hertz, I'm going to want to put this at 59. And the reason why it's 59 and not 60 is because since it sets it down to 0, it still counts as 60 sec. And then I can wire that into there. Um, grab an if chip. Or actually, no, I just want one. Or I don't want to wire that straight into there. So if I grab two if chips... And then I can wire that into there. Now, if I grab the add ship and I wire this into there, add one, wire that into an if expression, wire the greater or equal. And I'm just going to move this down here for, you know, demonstration purposes. So it's a bit easier for you guys to understand. Wire this back into there. Check for that. Run it as 59. Um. Oh, nope, I wired these into the wrong chip. And then I can wire, uh, I can grab the other if chip. Output of that, plus it by one, and then if this is greater, th uh, you know, then to the else, if this is greater than twenty four, then it'll set it to zero. So technically, this should now activate something every twenty four hours. When I give it a when I give it a sixty hertz, which don't see why you'd want that, but you know viable solution for something. But if I just take it like this, then um, I can run it at whatever hertz frequency I want. You can even um, it's really your decision of what you want it to be. So as always, have fun with your C two creating.